to College Eats. I'm Sarah. And I'm Alexa. And today we are at Oh My Darling. Actually in the basement though, this is The Fits, which is a speakeasy. It's we're, really cool. Yeah, and we're joined by one of the managers, Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much for joining first, first, us. First. So tell us a little bit about your business, Oh My Darling. Yeah, so we're coming up on four years in March and the owners are from the area, so they like to keep it local, moved down to New York City for a bunch of years, came back up, and opened this restaurant. It originally, the building's from 1860s, it has had many lives, uh, was a Ronald McDonald's, was a McDonald's, was a Chinese restaurant, was a factory at oh one point. That's crazy. Yeah, and so we're its newest people. So you said you were a small business. How do you compare with other local Syracuse small businesses? Do you do anything together? Or? Yeah, we're very collaborative with um, many local Syracuse businesses. Um, we try to stay as local as possible. Um, our photographs we take for our Instagram is a local business. We do a bunch of catering for local people around here. Uh, we host tons of private holiday parties down here as well. So it's so many local businesses we have in and out of these stores. Fantastic. And so for Oh My Darling, you do brunch and dinner. Correct. So what type of items do you do? Yeah, so on our brunches, some of our fan favorites is banana bread French toast. Mm. Um, can't go wrong with a good classic yeah. Eggs Benny either. <laughs> Ooh, yes. um, personal favorite, lemon ricotta pancakes. Oh my gosh, Ooh, that sounds that's so good. good. And it's, it's house made uh, lemon curd, so oh. everything's super fresh. We like to keep it nice. So one thing I love about Oh My Darling, I've been here many times, is like the aesthetic of the building and yeah. everything. So and like it's a perfect Instagram picture it of the is. food. So is there anything on the menu that's like underrated? You feel mm. like that pe not a lot of people try out? Ooh. The problem is I've been here for four years. <laughs> I've eaten everything. Oh, um, I hope to also do that one day. Me too. That should be our next goal. Yeah. I really love the flatbreads. I feel like people don't get oh. flatbreads, but you know, there's like a truffle mushroom flatbread with some goat cheese on it. That's oh, wow. Really good, yeah. So I feel like flatbreads, and then every once in a while we have like seasonal ones, and those are always fun. Do you have a favorite seasonal um, dish yeah. that's coming up? Oh, coming up. He hasn't decided on what okay. our winter flatbread is yet, Ooh, but. Okay. That does sound really good. Are a lot of your customers like Syracuse University students? Yes. Is there a lot of local locals? But with that, when the students go back home for winter break, do you see a change in the business at all? Oh, 100%. Mm. I mean, just going home for Thanksgiving that weekend was dead here. Really? Like, oh, yeah, 100%. Um, and eat, so we very much rely on SU students. I'm very appreciative of everyone making a trek down from the hill. and. Yeah, we definitely always look forward to when the students are in town because we all like to come here. Mm -hmm. So then you also have, like we mentioned, the Fitz, and then also Clementine, which is like a coffee kind of bakery type business. Explain a little bit about what, what that Clementine's is. Clementine's a little confusing. So yeah. when they opened, Clementine was originally supposed to be a fully running cafe. Mm -hmm. um, we don't do it to public anymore. It just didn't have the foot traffic that we needed. But you can come in for brunch or dinner or anything and we still be able to get a latte or coffee, tea. So all my servers can hook me up to the good. Well, that's really awesome. So now out of, I know we talked a little bit about the menu, but yes. keeping it like food based yes. like college ease, like if you had to pick, like the build your perfect like uh, meal here, like yeah. what, what, like an appetizer, an entree, like a drink, like what would you say? Okay, so starting off the top, drink would have to be an off menu item that is our Ooh. most popular drink by far. It's called the Clementine Cosmo. Um, so we have. Grey Goose, Aperol, Peach Schnapps, oh. some simple syrup, some lemon lemon juice in there, and that's served in a really pretty martini glass. It is absolutely delicious, yeah. um, and that is not even on our menu. So it's can still, we still order it though? Of course you can. It's a little top secret. My servers love to sell it. Oh. Then app, the toss up between spinach artichoke dip and fried pickles. Oh. Fried pickles. I love spinach oh. artichoke dip. It's so yeah. good. All of it made in house as well. Then if we're gonna go on to entrees, I gotta stay true with my my darling burger, fried goat cheese croquette on top, um, onion jam, mm, perfect. I love how unique all the food yeah. dishes from Oh My Darling are. Like, you can never go wrong. I feel like with any of the choices. You, I feel like you can't either. Like whenever people like complain, I'm like, why is it so good? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't like it? What? Oh. What do you mean? Yeah, it does seem like just the atmosphere and the vibe here is so unique and so yeah. special. So. Kind of how would you sum up what it's like to, to be a part of this business? Um, I think it's like a blessing. 
we have really wonderful owners that care so much about the community. Um, Ryan Benz, our owner, actually recently won the Salvation Army Community Service wow, Award. Yeah, so we it's won fantastic. that last month. And so we're super active in the community, and it's just like a very great place to work with people that care about their staff, the community, and as management, we like to filter that back down into our staff as well. Mm -hmm. So it's very homey feeling here, um, and everybody's, everybody's great to work with, everybody's super nice. Oh, I absolutely agree. Like with the community aspect, do you feel like you have a lot more like, returning customers? And mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we have lots of regulars, lots of people coming back that recognize people. Mm -hmm. um, during our lunches, we have so many businesses from around the area come in and have meetings here and like grow ideas. So it's a wonderful place and a wonderful space for people to further their own business as well as supporting ours. So I just wanted to ask, since you said you've worked here for four years, do you have a favorite memory? Like with the staff or just from your overall time here? Um, off the top of my head, I, been here on and off for four years mm -hmm. and I moved to New Zealand a couple years ago for a little bit wow. and they all got me like a very nice card and I oh. still have the card all signed by them so I've continued oh. that tradition on whenever one of my servers or one of my cooks wow. moves on to a new job I yeah. always give them a card with everything to sign oh, that's so that's nice. so sweet yeah. so I've continued the tradition that's something different yeah. that definitely ties in like the family aspect I love that yeah so much. it's always nice to like look back at it and be like oh I miss them oh, I, hope, I hope they're doing well yeah. this is really sweet so what about the future for Oh My Darling and Fence and Clementine? Like, yeah. Where do you see yourself and, and the business? Um, I hope we're here for a very long time. Um, Armory Square Staple Possibility just hit 40 years. So that's crazy. So I would love to see this place in 40 years yeah. still thriving. Um, we're really just going to go onward from here. We have um, a catering business as well. So we you can do catering through us, um, either in-house or um, in your own space, and that's just just thriving right now. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to our future here. Do you have any other opportunities <gasps> for us to? Make sure you guys are with us. Yeah. Oh, good. Do you have any other opportunities for us as SU students or the community to help? You know, support. Oh my darling. Yeah, just. Coming on down, it's just enough. Uh, you're stuck at Bird, you know, studying, <laughs> order some food. Trust me, I went to SU, I get it. Yes. Um, you know, just take out order supports us, just coming here, happy hour, coming down to the fits once you're 21, like all yes. that kind of stuff is just so beneficial. Um, I feel like with SU students, it kind of can be a little intimidating at first coming outside of your mm -hmm. little home up there. I know what it's like. and just exploring all what the local businesses here just has to offer yeah. and just supporting us. With finals week coming up, I will definitely be coming down for a drink like, maybe like or a just treat. some food. <laughs> yes. No, it really is. <laughs> you should treat yourself. Yes. Once, you, once yes. you finish the semester, it's an accomplishment. Oh. Yeah, you do you. Support yourself. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, yeah, for yeah, joining us. We really appreciate it. All of you hungry people watching out there, come down to Oh My Darling. Definitely. It's delicious. So cute here. <laughs> You'll definitely have a great time here. Yes, thanks again. Yes, of course, thank you.